Alright, so Ember made a goof and had the mic off, which was bad. I said I'd do this. <laughs> I said I'd fucking do it again in the community notes, and I promised. Let's go. Okay, so we're just gonna skip the first half of this because it was just set up, and now we're no longer setting up. We're actually getting into some action here. So let's do this shit. So we're gonna hit him with the fucking body slam to try to get the paralysis off. If we get this off, we can go for a tornado. Boomers, let's see, what do we got? Yeah. Paralysis is fun just because like if you land the paralysis, you'll be able to like get yourself a turn, you know, you get like some leeway unless they got a switch or something, they can't leave. There's no retreating and there's no attacking, you can only switch using abilities and stuff. So with that uh, body slam, I'm able to stun lock them into doing nothing for a turn, so that way I can actually do some damage. Now, they're in 50 damage range, which means Tongue Nato only has to land three heads. I don't trust myself at all to go all three heads, but that's okay. So this person is using all three energies. Grass, Electric, and Earth to do the Super Wombo Combo move, which I like that idea, but it's just too expensive. Got myself a Tangrowth. Hell yeah. So the only two Pokemon they have is uh, B-Barrel and uh, Galvantula. So what we can do is we can just kind of set up for the next turn, honestly. Just set up. There's no reason to, like, rush anything. We can go for another Body Slam or we can go for a Tungnado. We're going to definitely knock it out because it can only do 210... Uh, damage set up my evolutions so now we got another Tangrowth and we got another Licky Licky and a Galvantula if we need to hit them with the rule box text I think the normal Galvantula is better for this deck so let's see if we can pull this off <laughs> got him <laughs> Look at that. She's like, what do you wait? What do you beat all ten? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Alright, they put down another Joltic. Let's see what you got. Looking for energies, grass, electric, all that stuff, and they're gonna put it on each of their Pokemon. So let's see what you do. Okay, cool over there. Alright, so you don't have that many energies in the deck, or you just stupid and don't want to use your B-Doof. B-Doof is good and B-Barrel is good. I don't know why you wouldn't use either one. That's like the obvious choice, but that's okay. Anyway, hit him with the body slam. First, draw three. Or draw two. No energies. Fuck. Waste. <laughs> body slam. <laughs> I really wish if you knocked out the Pokemon you didn't have to flip a coin because it's really annoying that you have to flip a coin even if they get knocked out. Like it really should have been easy programming where it's like, hey, if knocked out, no flip coin. Alright, let's see. So this Bidoof I hit with a couple Vine Whips before uh, with the Tangela, so that was really nice, but it, it doesn't matter. She's like, what the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> she like, what the hell? Give him my XP sure, I need that shit. If Licky Licky goes down, I have another Licky Licky ready to go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hit him with the body slam. Electric energy first. <gasps> Alright, so I felt kinda bad here, cause like, <laughs> they only have two Pokemon left, I felt kinda bad. So I started using Tongue Nato after this point because I was like, yeah, all I got to, I will, I will be fair, give you a chance, <laughs> give you a fighting chance, flip some coins. I think Tongue Nato is better than just passing my turn because at least I'm like, I'm gambling for damage. <laughs> That's the funny part. They really need a draw three in this deck, Jesus. If you don't have a draw three, then that's bad. You need other Pokemon too. Maybe like the Gargasalt because it allows you to get an earth energy from the discard pile. That would have been good. So anyway, I flipped some coins, let's go. Let's fucking go. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <gasps> All right. 
Got a Galvantula, pretty fucking epic. And then they got the Joltik. What you gonna do? They didn't get what they needed. Surrendered. That's fair, honestly, because like that was a really tricky fight. You, you just didn't get enough draw threes. If she would have gotten more draw power, she could have definitely won. That was a really uh, fun fight, though. And again, I, I don't have any uh, audio for this, so I have to use my own audio in post. Sorry. So this person, I don't know what they were doing. Like they, they were trying to do something with this Manaphy, I guess. I don't, I don't know what this deck was supposed to be. Maybe they just didn't get enough uh, cards or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, so we give them a, we give them a, a chance. You know, we only use Vine Whip and stuff. Cause I knew I wasn't able to get uh, anything important out. So I was like, ah, fuck it. You know, if I had a Jet Energy or something, I could have done something. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna Vine Whip. Whatevs, just hit him with the vine whips. This tangle is basically ruined because it's gonna get damage counters, and then the 150 is gonna go down in value. I hate that though. I wish loom over wasn't a common move, or if loom over ever gets reworked in the future, just make it to where it lowers in damage but it increases in effect. Like if you have over like 50 damage counters or 50 damage worth of damage counters, uh, you'd always paralyze or something. You know, solve them. Maybe like a weird thing where it's like, oh, you're grabbing onto the opponent because you're looming over them. So you paralyze or something. I don't know. Cause it's really annoying when you don't get much uh, damage in. Or maybe heal the amount of damage you do. So if you take 80 damage and you only have 80 damage left in the loom over, you heal all that damage back. You know, that'd be nice. I almost ended turn there by accident. I have nothing. So this is smart. They used boss's orders to switch out my Joltik. Uh, because if I don't have any energies, you know, I don't have anything. And they noticed I didn't play any energies, so they're like, oh yeah, just switch him out. He has nothing. That was risky, but also very uh, tactical. Like, the last boss's orders didn't matter. Like, in the last video. But this one mattered. Because if I don't have any energies, I can't do anything. And of course, no energy. So I just decided to evolve the... Uh, Tangela down here. I was like, whatever. Uh, get myself some evolution cards. Probably more Tangrowths. There you go. I'm just struggling here because I can't. I can't get any energy out. I can't do nothing. I don't want to evolve my Joltik just in case if it does get knocked out. I can get energies with the other Joltik, so I can't evolve it. So I'm like, ah, end turn. Very frustrating. So that was a tactical boss's orders. It's risky if you use boss's orders because if they have a retreat or if they have a switch, it's worthless. But if it's something like this where you notice they didn't play any energy cards, then boom, you can just activate a boss's orders and you can switch them out and they have no energy, so they have to rely on a draw. So I decided to get more of my uh, Pokemon out, you know, get more time growth, more Galvantula just in case. And it's just it's frustrating because it's like, ah, I can't do anything. And look at this shit, like, they're like, oh, you you can switch, hell no, I'm not gonna battle. I'm actually gonna pass my turn, and I'm like, uh. Oh, wait, that was the previous turn. Yeah, so the previous turn they didn't attack me, so this turn they did attack me. And that was their downfall. If, if someone's struggling without energy, it's very obvious that they don't have any. Don't attack. Just keep setting up until you get the cards you need. So he should have just let me keep setting up so he's like ah I shouldn't have done that and it's like yep one for you one for you one for you all done now it's his turn and I'm over here like please don't draw basic Pokemon don't draw basic Pokemon come on easy dub come on W come on time what's he gonna do <laughs> what's he gonna do it's very scary he gives himself more health just in case, but it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough health. He thinks, oh, maybe if I get rid of this Joltik, he won't be able to draw anymore. Nah, fam. I only needed the one thing. And then I was like, you know what? You attacked this Tangrowth. I don't appreciate. <laughs> I love my Tangrowth. That's my favorite Pokemon. You, you gonna die. <laughs> <gasps> Yeah! 